Hey guys, welcome back to the wasteland. Um, ah, goats. Goats and chickens. So, we're gonna start up these gasifier uh, episodes. And on this one, I'm gonna do the very like basic breakdown of what a wood gas fire is and how how I've made mine and I'm gonna keep going with these and I'm gonna make parts I'm making a whole new one start to finish I'm gonna make all these parts and show you as I prog progress the parts I make and what they do and how you can do it and where to find the materials and all that good stuff so this is just it's an I've spent 10 years just digging on this stuff and working on mine and it makes wood gas, it burns, everything's great um, and it can be better. So I'm going to make another one and show you everything that I do pretty much. Um, not, not exactly right now. Um, I think you're going to want to see more of mine being used and tested before you try to copy my uh, design completely. but. I will be burning out these blanks on some of the parts that would be really uh, maybe harder for some people to to make on their own if you got just a little garage set up or whatever and I'll probably sell like a package deal just on a pallet it'll show up at your house and it won't be it won't be much money I'm not exactly trying to start a get rich business just I have a plasma table now and I can help so that's about that. But the first thing, uh, the first part that you're going to probably build for your gas fire because it kind of establishes uh, if you're using the things that I've used and everything, it'll kind of give you an idea of what other things you need to get. So the first thing you're going to build, it's also about the most important part, is your fire cone assembly. And it's pretty simple. Um, still tidying this one up you can see I made a jig and bent these with a torch from those blanks I cut on the table and then tacked them together and then welded it up and then I just been taking it to my anvil and just cold cold forming it into a better shape it's almost there but uh, I found a dyno file works really well when you go ahead and weld the inside you can tidy that back up all of this will get encased in a second layer, like a pipe, and then uh, we'll make a refractory cement with sand and uh, with sand and uh, Paris plaster, the plaster of Paris stuff, and then we can we'll pack it around it, and it'll like it'll last forever almost. It's kind of like building a forge, you know, so. But basically, this will be the first thing you build. And there's no secret magic here, except a lot of people in the gas fire community have already figured this out. Uh, one guy on YouTube, his name, uh, YouTube name was Flash, Flash something, uh, zero, zero, 002 maybe. Uh, I should probably figure out if the links in videos. Uh, he figured out, and he does this a little bit differently, they're all a little bit different and people get a lot of different results, but ultimately end up making the same usable gas product. So your cone is, you can, you can get a cone builder program on your computer and print this out. You don't have to buy this from me, you can do this on your own if you can find the cone builder program. It's five inches this way, five inches this way and three inches across and it'll look like that so but I'm gonna have these available pretty soon I think um, so that's kind of that's just two of them in an hourglass <clears throat> now this whole thing works is you uh you take little bits of wood and stuff like here's just your fuel is just little chunks of wood like these limbs and stuff and like you can get a wood chipper and make little little bits like that, okay? But anyhow, just little bits of wood, and you can use uh, 
Basically, that's your fuel. But you'll find there's a certain size that your gas fire will like the best uh, to keep it from bridging because it feeds down as it burns. And it burns over this reaction uh, spot right here. But what you're doing essentially is you're starving a controlled fire that happens right here. Like you have air that comes in. That's what these things are for. Okay, I have jets that, that let air in on top of this and burn the fuel as it goes down in, through the hopper in a controlled environment in one area. And what you're doing is you're starving that fire, but at the same time you're burning it hot in a controlled environment. It's like a little reactor. And when you do that, when you burn it hot in a controlled, very thin controlled area, um, you crack the tars, the creosol, and things like that, but you're starving the fire also, and you're producing a lot of uh, carbon dioxide, monoxide, all these different gases and stuff, and they kind of, they do a thing, and they go through this fire, uh, the, the fire there, that's your paralyt, paralyt, can't find my words today, but it, go, it goes through that, and then you have a lot of smoke and stuff, and you're harvesting that. The whole idea is to create all of those gases and smokes and harvest them. And you'll go, th it'll go through, and it'll go through this uh, this bed that develops of biochar, and it'll kind of clean all that out. And a lot of chemical reactions happen when this is going on. And then it'll go out, and it'll go out into the side of your barrel. It's all contained and airtight. It'll go out the side of your barrel, and right here, mine goes out here because we'll have a fan that sucks all this through. It sucks the air through that's all tight, and it's just the wood hopper and it feeds straight down, and that all comes out and goes around through this cyclone filter, and it spits out a lot of that gross stuff. But basically, and you can keep going with that, and you cool your gases off and you filter them, and we're working on a uh, a water scrubber right now. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen that. But basically, uh, you can harvest this gas and use it like you would propane. It's very similar to propane. Um, it doesn't, can, it, you can't compress it very well because it's, it's always in gas form. It's never a liquid. So, but you're harvesting these gases that you're producing in here and you're running things like generators, uh, cars and trucks and things like that. Anything you can think of really. You can store it in a bladder and you could produce gas if, uh, you know, shit hits the fan situation happen. You could store it in something like a giant beach ball and produce it and store it. And then you can cook with that. You could cook with that with your propane stoves and stuff like that. So basically, that's, that's what a wood gas fire does for you. It on demand produces fuel you can run engines on. So you'll, you use your blower fan to get it started, and then you do a burn off where you see that your uh, flame is burning, that you're producing good gas, and then you'll shut that down and it'll go into your motor. You get your motor started up, it draws through the system. So the compression in the engine that you're running is then pulling the air through and stoking the fire cone fuel, and then it's producing all that on demand at that point. So it's, 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 it's old technology. It's very simple. It's, a, it's been perfected several times by several different people throughout time, but yeah, it's kind of forgotten, uh, mostly lost stuff that can be very practical in a bad situation, I think, which is why I'm kind of trying to get this, trying to give back to the gas fire community because I've uh, learned quite a lot from people just open source sharing things. So... That's about it. That's the first video. That's me built, built the fire cone. And, uh, and just a basic explanation of, of what's going on here. I hope this is helpful. Next, next video we do, uh, you know, I'll, I'll add the parts to this some more and I'll, I'll give you close ups and measurements and what I've done. And, uh, We'll just build it from there. This will keep getting bigger. And then a lot of this stuff will make more sense. The next video, I'll take you over here and show you inside this. Um, show you some more of the features of this.
but basically uh it's just it's a it's a way to produce a propane like fuel that you can run generators on in a shit hit the fan situation and maybe you know cooking propane and stuff from like junk that you got laying around right just it's your yard trash and stuff so it's a very um it's very green isn't it and a uh, fun fact also about these wood gas fires is uh they're kind of they're kind of pretty much carbon neutral so the uh, the weirdos can't even bitch at you about it because if you're taking the stuff that you're burning in the fall and in the summertime to clean up your yard and your area and stuff and you're mulching it down and using it as fuel um no more carbon would be released in your gasifier than it would be in your burn piles and stuff it's uh or if it was just lying on the ground decomposing naturally because it's just little stuff like this. Uh, it's good stuff. All right, we'll talk to you next time.